research shows that adhering to this diet can slow prostate growth, improve health, and reduce the risk of developing prostate cancer. If you're at a bar or restaurant, ask the bartender to put your drink in the glass they'd use for the alcoholic version. Welcome to Medical Made Easy. In this video, we are going to talk about prostate and red and processed meat, dairy, alcohol, and saturated fats. Also, foods to eat or prostate-friendly diet. Your diet may be able to lower your chance of developing prostate enlargement. By following a diet, you may be able to stop prostate cancer from developing or reduce its progression. Low in simple sugars and saturated fat, rich in dietary fiber, abundant in vegetable and fruits. To maintain the health of your prostate, you should not only eat specific meals but also avoid particular food categories. An increased risk of prostate enlargement may be linked to diet high in meat, especially if the meat is well done. According to the World Health Organization, eating red and processed meats may up your chance of getting prostate cancer. Examples consist of hot dogs, sausage, lunch meats, beef and pork. Try these protein sources in place of processed or red meats, fresh or canned fish, such as tuna, salmon, or sardines, lean poultry, such as skinless chicken or turkey, beans and legumes, such as split peas, chickpeas, lentils, pinto beans, and kidney beans nuts and nut butters try preparing a chicken salad sandwich if you enjoy cold cut sandwiches additionally you can experiment with meat substitutes like tempeh or tofu which can be marinated or sauteed to produce a tasty filling for sandwiches you might also try going meatless for a few meals or days of the week Try these suggestions. Use beans instead of meat in your favorite stew or chili. Try grilling fish fillets rather than steaks. Instead of making hamburgers, make black bean burgers. Cut tofu into pieces and marinate it in your preferred sauce. Then stir fry the tofu and combine it into vegetables and rice on the side. High dairy product consumption may raise your chance of prostate cancer, and drinking whole milk may raise your chance of the disease progressing to a deadly stage. Low-grade stages of the disease are another risk factor associated with skim and low-fat milks. Try consuming less dairy. Choose fat-free or low-fat products instead of others since they may be better for your prostate. Reduce your intake of these foods. Full-fat ice cream, full-fat yogurt, full-fat butter, and full-fat ice cream. Alternatively, consider consuming non-fat or low-fat varieties of your preferred dairy products. You could also experiment with non-dairy substitutes. For instance, the following non-dairy milk substitute might be available at your local supermarket. Rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, soy milk, coconut milk, and cashew milk. Try a different kind of non-dairy milk if you don't like the flavor of this one, as they are all different. However, since many of these milks are sweetened, exercise caution when adding extra sugar. These milks are also the basis for non-dairy ice creams that you can find. 
consuming large amounts of alcohol may increase your chance of prostate cancer. Researchers found that heavy alcohol drinkers had twice the risk of receiving an advanced prostate cancer diagnosis compared to moderate drinkers, based on data from over 10,000 men who took part in the prostate cancer prevention trial. People who drank more than three drinks each day or more than 20 drinks per week are considered heavy drinkers. Men should limit their daily alcohol consumption to no more than two drinks. One drink is equivalent to 12 ounces of standard beer, which has 5% alcohol. Five ounces of wine, which has 12% of alcohol and 1.5 ounces of hard liquor, which has 40% alcohol. You can choose from a wide variety of drinks in place of alcohol. Among them are sparkling or regular water, combined with freshly squeezed fruit juice, alcohol-free wines or beers, dazzling juices, coffee or tea. Another option is to attempt creating a non-alcoholic version of your preferred cocktail. If you enjoy mojitos, for instance, swap out the rum for sparkling water or lemon-lime soda. Additionally, request that the bartender serve your cocktail in the same glass as is used for the alcoholic version. If you are at a restaurant or bar, to make your cocktail feel more celebratory. You can also request a wedge of lemon or lime or another garnish. Although there is uncertain evidence linking saturated fats to prostate cancer, they have been related to heart diseases. Saturated fat consumption has been linked in certain studies to an increased risk of advanced prostate cancer. However, these findings have not been replicated in other investigations. Reducing your consumption of saturated fats may help your prostate and your general health since it makes more room for nutrient-dense vegetables and fiber, though more research is needed in this area. Meat, dairy products, salad dressings, baked items and processed foods all contain saturated fats. Try substituting some of the monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats that are included in foods like fish and avocado for some of the saturated fats in your diet. Nuts, olive oil, and seeds. Try substituting applesauce for half of the fat in your baked products. To cut down on saturated fats, Use half a cup of butter and half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. For instance, if the recipe asks for one cup of butter, mashed avocado can also be used as a spread. On toast in place of butter or as mayonnaise on sandwiches, certain foods have been connected by researchers to both the risk of prostate cancer and a man's early death from the condition. Because of this, some medical professionals advise men to use nutrition to help manage and prevent prostate cancer. According to research, the following foods may aid in the management or prevention of prostate cancer. Tomato sauce and tomatoes, soy, broccoli and other cruciferous veggies. Salmon. What foods might be harmful for prostate cancer and why? High consumption of processed and red meat has been related in studies to an increased risk of prostate cancer and an increased risk of prostate cancer death. Foods to consume. Prostate health may be enhanced by eating a diet high in fruits vegetables, and healthy fats, like the Mediterranean diet. According to research, following this diet can enhance health, lower the risk of prostate cancer, and limit the growth of the prostate. 
antioxidants and good fats, which are abundant in the Mediterranean diet and other comparable diets, can help protect the prostate. Among the particular foods one should eat are salmon packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which help prevent and lessen inflammation in the body. Salmon is high in healthy fats. These lipids are also abundant in other cold water fish like trout and sardines. Tomatoes packed with antioxidant lycopene. Tomatoes may help prostate gland cells. Lycopene is released and becomes more easily absorbed by the body when tomatoes are cooked, as in tomato sauce or soup. Berries, antioxidants such as those found in strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, assist the body rid itself of free radicals. Over time, free radicals can lead to damage and illness since they are result of processed that take place within the body. Broccoli, a substance called sulforaphane, is present in broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables, such as bok choy, cauliflower, brussels sprouts, and cabbage. This is supposed to target cancer cells and support a prostate that is healthy. Nuts that are good source of trace mineral zinc. The prostate has significant levels of zinc, which may assist balance DHT and testosterone. Legumes and shellfish are also rich in zinc in addition to nuts. Citrus, vitamin C, which is abundant in oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits, may help shield the prostate gland. Simple dietary and lifestyle adjustments made at home can be used to treat BPH, as can medication and surgery. Limiting red meat intake and consuming an abundance of fruits and vegetables can aid with symptom management. Discussing symptoms with the physician is crucial if the recommended lifestyle adjustments don't help to lessen the symptoms. More intensive care might be required. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like today's message, please do not forget to share with your loved ones. Also, hit the like and subscribe button for more updates on my channel. Stay happy, stay healthy, and till next time, bye bye.